Yeah, you all know what this is from, right? I mean, it's... I've been warned. It's like one well, of the other few things people have told me about and I've caught on to. And I said, oh, maybe... Maybe they'll work it in in a smart way or a really clever way or a way that's not so cliched and contrived. But no, love triangle! Fucking love triangle! I hate love triangles! They are so... Ugh, they're just a distraction. They delay what we all know is going to happen. The only time it can ever work, in my opinion, I shouldn't say that, but the only time I have seen it work is in comedy. Uh, when it's played for laughs, I think it's very, very funny. But when it's played like, no, this is serious drama. And once again, we got Cora acting like a dumbass. At the very end, she's going to realize her problem. And I'm just sick of this formula. Come on! You know, and the <clears throat> the episode before, the few episodes before, we, we got this build-up with, uh, you know, with Amon who's going to, you know, like, destroy the benders. They can take away bending power and stuff, and what's, you know, he has the big confrontation with her saying, you're going to be the last to go down, and she confronted her, her fear and saw that she was afraid, and wow, what's next? Ah, let's just go to that one room where they bend, challenge, you know, where they fight each other, and... That's gonna be the episode, it's, you know, and they're moving up like in the championships and stuff. Can't they get a different room? Can't they get a new design? <laughs> I, oh, okay, so it, uh, this episode is probably not as bad as I'm making it out to be, but it's just... Oh god, and you got the bully! There's a bully in this now who's like, Oh, you smell that? That's the stench of losers. I'm like, did I really hear that line? And he's like the most generic, you know, well, what the hell is that movie I saw? I think it was called Real Steel. Uh, I had Hugh Jackman, it's the fighting robot, the rock and talk robots, which is a phenomenal comedy. It's a terrible drama, but it's a phenomenal comedy. It's a great throwback to all those cheesy piece of shit. Not piece of shit, but th those really corny 80s fighting films, you know, like Rocky IV or Commando, the big muscle-bound movies, and it's it's like that. It's like I'm watching that, but it's not trying to really be that funny. It's trying to actually sort of be legit. And it's just so corny. He looks like the guy from that, because like, it was like this sleek, very feminine Asian man who's just like, I will bring you down. It's exactly like that, except throw in a little Nelson Muntz. <laughs> it's, oh. Okay, well, well, what's actually good about this episode? I didn't even mention the name of it. The Spirit of Competition is what this is called. It focuses a lot on the bending. And it's not even a love triangle. It's like a love... Octagon, you know, because it's like <clears throat> you got the brother who's in love with Korra, Korra's in love with Mako, Mako's in love with this other girl who's the daughter of the, you know, whatever, Henry Ford, and it, but Mako also is kind of in love with Korra but isn't quite sure. And, you know, and, and they went through that stupid thing where it's like, oh, I hate him, or why should I like him? It's just, no, don't do this. Don't go make Ryan Julia Roberts movie on us. That's what she's reminding me of. She's reminding me of all those, like, you know, sort of late 90s, mid-2000 Julia Robert movies where it's like, I'm going to act really stupid, but, you know, I'm clumsy, but I have a heart of gold, so... Forgive me for my mistakes, even though they're really stupid and no person the right mind would. And that's what this feels like to me. It feels like bad mid-2000 Julia Roberts film. Uh, with, with fire and stuff. Actually, those movies would be a lot better if they were throwing fire. But nevertheless, it's still tough to stomach. Um, <clears throat> and at times it's kind of played for laughs. Like, I guess the brother, when he finds out is like, they play it more comical, but it's, I don't think it's that funny. I think it's more like awkward and like kind of sad, but they're making him go really over the top and be like, yeah, you're not my brother. And I'm like, why is this funny? Why are they playing this up as a joke? You know, I mean, it's, even though, like I said, I think it's funnier when they're done for laughs, it's more of, Hey, look at these three terrible people doing really stupid, terrible things. Uh, garbage truck. Um, garbage truck? That's like ice cream. I'm gonna get some garbage. No, okay. I, that was a big hit in that one vlog I did, so. <clears throat> but, excuse me. <clears throat> cough, cough. So, uh, yeah. So, so you got this love triangle going on. At the end, they 
kind of come to a resolution-ish in this one episode, which I guess, give them credit, I like that they kept it short, but I'm just seeing this formula, and, and that was something that, like, Avatar, even when it was starting to get a formula, it sort of broke it very quickly. Uh, you know, like like with the chase aspect, or they find a way to do variations with it, or, or add something new to it. And this just seems like you got the love triangle, you have the the sports cliches, you have that they can't get along and they have to come together at the end, you got the really fast resolution, you have the bullies, it's, it's Mighty Ducks. <laughs> I'm watching the... Avatar version of Mighty Ducks, and I don't want to see that. <laughs> I want to see the stuff they were building up before, um, and I want to see new locations. Please, you can still stay in the movie, but give me, even if you're going to do the competition, which it looks like they're still going to do, because at the end of this, like, the big cliffhanger is, oh no, those guys are really good. Are we going to win the championship? There's a fucking guy who can take away bending powers as this terrorist, and a Badass, awesome villain, and like the big cliffhanger on this one is, oh no, the other team's pretty good. No, but what I was getting to is, even if you're gonna keep it in that damn room or that damn game, change up the set. I mean, in the whatever, the big championship or the tournament, make it bigger, add stuff, do something. I am. You're getting some really nice angles, and that's great, but I am tired of looking at the same places. Just, uh, change it up. I mean, that is... And I like the new stuff that they're doing with this. Don't get me wrong. I, I like that they're... It's okay to keep it in one place, but it's just... Change it up. Do something different. You know, just moving the camera angle down here or up here or down here. I mean, it's like... I'm just tired of looking at it. Um, so that, that that's sort of the... <clears throat> Despite everything else, like I said, I'm not the fan of the love triangle or the bully. Or I mean, those those are like two things I really, really hate together in one episode. Um, it, when it's not done for laughs. Uh, so, oh god, they even have the guy, like, he, he comes in, he sees them kissing, he has the flowers. I'm like, oh my god, are you serious? The people who brought us Avatar brought us the... Oh! No! <laughs> Uh, and the other thing too is that I was actually liking uh, the date they were going on uh, with the brother, again, blanking on the name, but, and how they were doing the belching contest and stuff. I was actually sort of liking them as a couple, but it looks like they're building up that maybe her and Mako might be the couple, uh, or not, now he's going back to the other girlfriend that, I don't know, will die or something, somebody has to die in this, that's usually how it works. Um, and, but you got him there with, like, the flowers, and they get blown away, and he sees them kiss. I'm just like, God, talk about Pearl Harbor soap opera -ish bullshit. Uh, and it's, because it, it started off with him just saying, I, it, you know, Cora, I just don't feel that way when she confessed. I thought, oh, maybe they're not going to go that really cliche route that I thought. They start building up like they're going to, but they're not going to go that route. And then they go that route. It's... They really may look like they weren't going to do that, and then they do that. And it's not, it's not fun, it's tedious, it's annoying, it's boring, and I'm not a fan. I'm sure everyone was waiting for this vlog, <laughs> where I come out and say, what? No! Well, there you go. What? No! That, that's my raising and <laughs> shaking my fist. <sighs> so, like I said, I, I liked it when Cora and the brother were together. That was nice. Um... And the, the bending competition, I'm already pretty sick of. It, it's sort of like the stupid Quidditch matches in Harry Potter. You see it once, and it's like, well, went over so well in the first movie, let's do it in every single fucking movie after. And let's change nothing about it. It's the exact same goddamn game every time, except, hey, there's a character, there's a new character watching. It's just the same thing. So, if you like that sort of sports movie stuff, I mean, it's still well animated and, and everything, I... Cool, it just bores the sin out of me, so, yeah, there it is, not, not a fan of this one. <laughs> and, and I like most of the changes they're doing, uh, but the one thing I really think is missing is I think they should really start changing up the locations, at the very least how they look. Have them redesigning a place, <laughs> or changing something up, or maybe like, uh, like I said, in the 
tournament or the championship, like, have them actually add something, dress it up different, or, or take it to a different room, or just something. I'm just... As pretty and nice as these angles are, and the animation is, it, it's still the same goddamn place, and there's only so long you can look at the same goddamn place for something that's supposed to be action, adventure, fantasy, you know, cool visuals. There's only so long you can look at it, so... And I know it's pointless me saying, do that, because it's done. I'm watching the DVD. But, um, yeah, that's just... And I know the second season's practically done, so it's pointless to say that. But uh, that's the issues I have with it. So, um, if you like the sports element, the love triangle, good for you. Uh, not a fan myself. So, um, yeah, that's about it. I'll see you in the next episode. Probably see more bending there, too. <laughs>